To balance this equation, let's write down first how many atoms we have on each side. On the reactant side, Fe, we have one, and chlorine, we have two. On the product side, we have one iron atom, and chlorine, we have three. So the irons are balanced with one on each side, the chlorines are not. When I have an odd number here, I like to get that to be even by multiplying by two. So three, put a coefficient of two, three times two, that equals six. I also have to make the iron here one times two to make sure our counting's correct. Over on the reactant side, I have one iron here, so I need to have two. I can just put a coefficient of two in front of the iron, and then one times the two. That'll give me two irons. Those are balanced. And now I need to have six chlorine atoms, and I only have two. But I know if I put a three here, two times three, that equals six. And now I have six chlorine atoms on the reactants and six chlorines on the products. The irons, we are balanced here, and we're done. That's the balanced equation for Fe plus Cl2 yields FeCl3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.